To think deeply or focus one's mind for a period of time, in silence or with the aid of chanting, for religious or spiritual purposes, or as a method of relaxation. Meditation. The word meditation comes from the Latin root word meditat, meaning contemplated. In addition, it comes from the root word medari, to heal. This symbolizes the two main purposes of meditation. While meditating, a person is constantly learning about themselves, as well as making improvements upon their mental and physical capabilities. It has been proven to improve cognitive abilities, including memory. In addition, meditation has been used to help depression, panic or anxiety disorders, ongoing stress, or for general health maintenance of brain alertness and cardiovascular health. Through several scientific studies, researchers found that with meditative breathing and thinking, a person is able to release worry and stress along with certain disorders and further health concerns. Martha O'Boyle from Fremont, California was suffering from chronic pain in her arms and chest ever since she had a heart attack. She turned to her doctor for help, who in turn prescribed her with meditation. Here's a cardiologist telling me to go and meditate, said Mrs. O'Boyle. I'm thinking, does she think I'm crazy? In 2011, she began taking meditation classes at Stanford Hospital and Clinics. Mrs. O'Boyle stated, Once I started the class, I saw the benefits of it. The pain is not gone, but it helps me cope with it. Lenina King, aged 43, writes, I've had high blood pressure for five years and I've been on so many different medications to try and lower it, but only meditation finally did it. I went from 170 over 110 to 120 over 80. It's really calmed me down. A study was conducted in 2012. Researchers examined and compared brain images of 50 adults who have started practicing the art of meditating and 50 who do not. The results suggested that people who have been meditating have more folds in the outer layers of their brains. The process is called gyrification and can increase a person's ability to process information. There is a constant energy exchange every time you get to take your seat and that energy became very attractive to me. It was uh, continual work within my yoga practice of taking my seat was constant. And I have to say that the way it made me feel allowed me to have this desire to want to do it more. Meditation has improved my life in so many ways. And I think specifically uh, the way that it has connected with me the most is that it creates such a clarity. So if I'm ever feeling foggy or confused or just unstable, I take my seat and that allows me to become very clear with either just eliminating distraction and or being able to focus on something that I choose to focus on. There are many styles, different styles of meditation and I think the one that I'm most attracted to or the one that first drew me to it was uh, mantra and mantra is a combination of words or one word or a sound that you can create and the energy behind the vibration of the sound that is created is very attractive and that takes you deeper it just it's an invitation for you to go deeper so i have to say that mantra is probably one of my favorites I started meditating pretty much with my first uh, yoga class that I was introduced to in Bozeman, Montana, almost 20 years ago. Um, it, it ebbs and flows with life, I have to confess, but my attraction to meditation is definitely there and I see its benefits. Um, I will meditate for at least 15 minutes and I try to do it at least three to four times a week. That's my goal. 
Uh, five words or less, I, my first word would be connection. I feel completely connected to my mind, to my body, and to my well-being. The second word would be clarity. I have a vision, and I'm not distracted, and I feel like there's no clutter that's in the way of that vision. There's an element of freedom. I feel free when I don't hold on to thoughts or others' comments or my own negative negativity. There is an element of freedom that is very attractive. I feel grounded. I feel rooted. I feel connected to my past and I feel insightful for my future. I feel grounded. And I think the last word, love. When we look after ourselves, we love ourselves. And when we love ourselves, we can love others. Meditation gives me that. Peace and love. Humanity. Well, I feel like meditation is part of our own self care. And that if we see brushing our teeth as self care, if we see drinking water as self care, if we see cleanliness as self care, if we see nourishing ourselves as self care, then this too, taking your seat to meditate, is also self care. Um, I believe that everybody can meditate no matter where they are, just because the, of the different forms of meditation that are offered. Uh, meditation is about coming into this place of, of oneness with whatever it is that your thought is or your mantra is, and or it's about clearing, about creating a clearing. So anybody can meditate, in my opinion. And even if they're standing in line waiting to pay for their groceries, or if they are uh, walking, taking a walk, walking meditation is beautiful, going down to the beach, whatever is your pleasure, it's a matter of creating oneness with that pleasure. So yes, I believe everybody can meditate. Meditation is absolutely an essential part of my life. The process of introspection is a practice in my life. The information or what you receive from taking your seat gives you the answers that you're looking for. And if that's the, if that's true, if that is how your med your meditation is working for you, then it's absolutely um, something that can benefit you throughout your whole life. And I encourage my children to also get quiet because this is a great way for them to just be connected to their own intuition, their own inner voice. Meditation is for everyone. It seems as if our mind is like a balloon in the wind, blown here and there by external circumstances. If things go well, our mind is happy, but if they go badly, it immediately becomes unhappy. Meditation is a way to control your happiness levels by allowing your brain a break from the everyday stress and worry encountered in life. So how does one actually meditate? We will show you in one easy way. Go into your bedroom, close the door, turn the ringer off of any phones, and put on relaxing music. For five minutes, close your eyes and give the tune your total attention. Sense the rhythm the feeling of motion in your body, and the internal sounds as you sing or think along the lyrics. The perfect time for meditating is first thing in the morning and before you go to bed, and any other occasion when you want a time out or need extra concentration. Thinking back to Maslow's hierarchy of needs, there are five levels. Physiological, safety, love and belonging, esteem, and self-actualization. Many have access to food, water, safety, love, family, friendship, and esteem. Not many have reached the point on top. 